Aubrey Norton. Don't know if he would protest the government backpedaling on renegotiating the oil contract. But he would protest the bad management of the oil sector. Um, I heard you mention bad governance of the oil sector and Kaichu News is big on the oil sector. Um, the vice president, while campaigning in opposition, he was caught on record saying that he would have renegotiated the deal if elected into government. He has backpedaled now that he's in government and people are beginning to suspect that there might be some corrupt practices going on there. What is your take on this and will this be one of, will you protest against the, this government decision to backpedal on his promise to negotiate the contract? Well, I don't know if I would protest on the government's backpedaling. I protest on the bad management of the sector. I have already said on numerous occasions, the contract provides for us to engage uh, ExxonMobil, its subsidiary here, and we in government will utilize that to ensure we get the benefits the people of Guyana need. For me, it is not so much all of the optics about making noise about oil and gas. For me, it is doing the things to ensure our people benefit from oil and gas. And if it demands, and I do think it will demand us sitting with Exxon Mobile and ensuring we iron out the contract so that we have an arrangement that allows Exxon to benefit from an investment, but also ensure that the people of Ghana benefit significantly. Okay, thank you, sir. He said, on numerous occasions, the contract provides for us to engage Exxon partners here. And we in government <laughs> will utilize that to ensure we get the benefits the people of Guyana needs. Mr. Norton, when will you do that? When you in government? So for now, what happens? You're not protesting. But you're going to ensure people benefit when you get in government. Good going, guys. You're all in good hands here. Let me remind Norton that the contract also allows for renegotiation. When will you engage Exxon on that? So that the starving nation can begin to breed and eat. When you get into government, Okay, for him, it's not so much of the antics and making noise about oil and gas. It is doing the things to ensure our people benefit from oil and gas. And he said, if it demands us sitting with Exxon and ensuring we iron out the contract so that we can have an arrangement that allows Exxon to benefit from their investment and ensure the Guyanese people benefit significantly. <laughs> when will this happen, Norton? As for now, only Exxon benefiting, while half of Guyana is struggling to find a meal when the day comes. Norton, in 2022 last year, 9.8 billion US in profits. Out of that, Guyana got 1.4 billion. Exxon walk away with three years of Guyana budget and leave less than a third, less than a third of one year of Guyana budget. Mr. Norton, the destruction the oil companies did to Guyana, in Guyana, for 2022 alone, it will require five times of that 1.4 we received to correct, rebuild, or put back Guyana to its original state. Is this country and its people moving forward, or we are going backwards? Are the people of this country benefiting? Or we will continue running to the foreign banks to feed our people. <laughs> the language I just want to use to describe these leaders of what they do and what they say is a good thing I believe in the man above. Y'all have a nice day. <laughs>